Weather Center. Here's meteorologist James Gilbert. Rain showers finally moving out to radar and satellite to show uh, just the very last bit of it pushing out through uh, Wayne County here, heading through Sodus, eventually going to work its way toward Rose, toward Wolcott. Rose, you're already getting rain, but uh, you'll see some of the heavy stuff in the next couple of minutes here. Uh, but it should just push north of Savannah, some of this heavier rain uh, north of Montezuma, and eventually work its way toward Cayuga County and eventually up into Oswego County. Further south, uh, looks like uh, Yates County, Penyan, you've got uh, just some light to moderate rain showers, nothing significant here, but it'll wet the roads uh, out there. Any lunchtime travels, you may run into that. But we're starting to see some drier air work its way in, which is nice to see. You see the time there at uh, 1216. We expect a clearing, I think, by for everybody, uh, close to about 1 o'clock or so. Just a lot of dry air all through here from Buffalo over to Rochester. That's going to continue to push eastward. Let's flip this over to black and white. And that helps us see exactly where the clouds are and where they aren't. The lack of clouds is the dark stuff. That's uh, clear skies. That's blue there. So uh, Rochester pretty much split in half here in Monroe County where we are seeing sun and where we aren't. Don't worry. If you're not seeing it now, you will see it this afternoon. Let's check temperature profiles. Interesting here. So this is where the rain is falling. Uh, ahead of the rain, we've got 70s from Syracuse down into Ithaca. Where we are, mid-60s, Dansville up into Rochester. And then you look into Buffalo, back up into the 70s. Uh, so once we uh, get to those clear skies, that should help push those temperatures up. I think we should be in the mid, maybe even upper 70s by 4 o'clock with a good amount of sunshine. We'll savor this afternoon. Overnight, we see those temperatures drop down into the 50s. Uh, I bet mid 50s, maybe even low 50s for some pockets south of the throughway. Then your bus stop forecast, many kids starting their uh, year on Thursday. Uh, drop off and pick up going to be in the 50s and jumping up into the 70s there. Future cast shows those storms likely going to strengthen as they get into the afternoon. Uh, keep an eye out uh, for uh, maybe some severe weather for our friends over in Syracuse and east of 81. That storm system really going to explode thanks to daytime heating. We just got it early, so we didn't have to worry about severe weather. Futurecast carrying us into tomorrow morning. There's those comfortable 50s, cooler than this morning, that's for sure. Climbing just into the lower 70s, still an isolated rain chance in the afternoon, uh, but not a concern about that. As we get into Friday, even cooler air should pour over Lake Ontario. We'll start off in the 50s, maybe not even see 70 on Friday. Kind of a chilly way to kick off the weekend. But the temperatures swing right back up. We get a south wind, low pressure to our north. That's going to push numbers up both Saturday and Sunday into the uh, upper 70s. I am sure we will have places hitting 80 uh, on both days, something to keep an eye out for. And as we were talking about this morning, Bill's game on Sunday, we'll keep an eye out on that one. Forecast looks pretty good. Could deal with maybe a shower or two around, but otherwise it'll be a short sleeves type of day. Okay, high interest for a lot of folks around these parts, James. Thank you. Yep. Up next here at noon, how those who survived 